Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to disable WordPress automatic updates. So WordPress automatic updates can happen to WordPress core plugins or themes. It depends on the theme and plugin developer, but WordPress core will automatically update itself for only security related releases. Now some hosts will automatically update you anyways, but this will help you to disable them in other situations. So automatic core updates are mostly security releases. They don't typically break things, but in some obscure configurations, it can cause issues. Also, if you're using a backup solution to backup your site offsite, you would want to have control of when WordPress core updates so that you have a backup right before the update is run. Um, this can be easily controlled with one rule for your wp-config.php file. I don't really recommend disabling automatic updates through a plugin because it's kind of a waste. This is a one very easy rule that you can add to your wp-config.php file. Um, the easiest way to do this is to install the WP File Manager plugin, great free plugin. Um, make sure you uninstall it after we're done with this video because you should not leave this plugin on your domain when it's not necessary. All you then have to do is go to your wp-config.php file and you're going to open it and you are going to go to really anything that's after your wp-cache line and put in the following rule. Define and then automatic underscore updater underscore dust disabled true. This will disable any and all automatic updates, whether they come from WordPress core, your themes, or your plugins, it will disable all of them. So that means if you had WordFence installed and you enabled automatic updates, it will no longer function. You'll have to manually update it. But on the flip side, it does provide you that extra level of security to know that you're not going to be running into any unfortunate events from an update gone wrong, and I have seen those. Um, very quick, easy tutorial. I just, I just see it so often that people install something like Easy Updates Manager for something that can be relatively done easily, and it just cuts out some more plug-in bloat from their website. If you have any questions about this implementation, you can please feel free to ask. I will add the line to the bottom of the video description, just so that way you can copy and paste it right into your file. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.